I'm Georgina from Twinkle and in this video I'm going to be showing you just a few of the amazing Maths Mazes worksheets that we have on our website. Let's begin by looking at how to use the Maths Mazes. At the top of the worksheet it will tell you what number you're counting up in. Begin where it says start and your children have to count up in the number that's been directed. In this case, it's counting in tens. The numbers can go in every direction, so make sure your children are looking very carefully where they're going. Once your children have got to the finish line and counted up in all those numbers, maybe they could have a go at counting backwards. This would be an extra challenge for them. We've got maths mazes on our website to cover a range of themes and topics. For example, superheroes, pirates, the Great Fire of London, and healthy eating. There are many different ways that you might want to get your children to complete the sheet. They could begin by just following the numbers using their finger. You could even get your children to place objects on the correct numbers, such as pom-poms or coins. You could even laminate the worksheet or put it in a plastic wallet and get your children to follow the numbers using a whiteboard pen. What's brilliant about this is if they go wrong, they can rub it out and carry on. When they've completed the worksheet, they can rub out the whole thing and this means that the worksheet is reusable. Instead of following the correct number line on the worksheet, why not get your children to write the numbers out on a piece of paper or a whiteboard? This is a great way to practice number formation and writing numbers in the correct order. Maths mazes can be used in a variety of ways. You might want to use them as homework or time fillers, a morning starter, or even at the beginning of a maths lesson. We've got lots of other amazing resources on our website, so you're sure to find something you need. Thanks for watching and see you soon.